Here is a very strange thing, that every creature, therefore, which feels that it is human, and which knows that it's there in the same way as you know you're here, experiences the sensation of a certain tension which constitutes the feeling of I-ness, of there-ness, of being here. Because after all, every creature is a particular form. Everything is individual. Not only you as a total organism standing here, but all the component cells of your body, each one of them has some sort of a feeling of its own. And it, it is individual. You can look at a microscope at the right level of magnification, and you can see that thing there with its own little life. And if you examine the stream of your blood, you'll find it full of all kinds of organisms that are having all sorts of conspiracies and games and plots and eating each other and doing these things that, like we do. Only we, we realize that we wouldn't be healthy as a total organism unless there were all these wars and fights and plots and politics going on between the various cells in our blood. But from their point of view, you see, they feel a little bit put out. And we're in the same situation because... Very slowly, the human beings on the surface of the planet are realizing themselves into a total planetary organism with an electronic nervous system. You see, in science fiction, which was published round about the 1920s, it was always expected that future human beings would have enormous heads because they would have very big brains and they would be very wise. It didn't work that way. What happens is that the human race is building a brain outside its body. That is to say, an interlocking electronic network of telephonic, television, radionic communications, which is rapidly being interlocked with computers, so that you will, within a few years, be able to plug your own brain into a computer. You will have a little gadget here behind the ear, slightly like a hearing aid. And that will be integrated with your brain in such a way that you can plug in right here. That will only be an intermediate stage uh, because just in the same way as when we thought that all communications by electricity had to go through wires, and then we got rid of the wires and got radio and television. So in exactly the same way, we will eventually get rid of telephones and radio and television and will communicate uh, by some entirely new method that is at present called ESP. But that will mean that absolutely nobody has a private life anymore. You will have no defenses. Everybody else will see right through you. And some people will protest and say, well, this is terrible. There's no privacy anymore. That means there's no me. Well, that's what's happened to your own cells and your own neurons. And they objected at some time in the course of evolution, we're getting our private life taken away. We're being organized into a body. And we're doing the same thing. Only we have got to try and see if we can be clever about it. And that is to say, to do two things at once. To have this tremendous openness to each other, whereby I don't care if you read my thoughts, and you don't care if I read yours. But at the same time, nevertheless, each one of us retains a peculiar individuality. Almost in the same way as nothing could be more unlike a stomach than a heart. Despite the fact that it is a... Uh, an organism functioning altogether.